What was once the Polk County Courthouse now serves as the Polk History Center and houses the Historical Museum and Library. The museum serves Polk's community through special events, volunteer opportunities, and educational programs. The museum's exhibits and programs continue to grow and change as new information and artifacts become available. More details are coming up next on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm Tina Mann, your host, and joining me in the studio today is Mardis Young, the Historic Preservation Manager at the Polk History Center. Hello, Tina. Welcome to the show today. Thank you. We have lots of things planned at the History Center. Why don't we start talking about them? Wow, we are um, so excited. June is a month to celebrate, for sure, at the History <laughs> Center. We're going to start, we have a new temporary exhibit that we're opening on June 2nd. At 4 o'clock in the evening, we have the opportunity to host four very uh, talented and accomplished photographers who all in they all have one thing in common they enjoy going out and shooting nature and um, items or um, things that live in nature so we're opening an exhibit that is called the uh, through the lens Polk County's natural beauty and it's going to feature Willie Brown who is a professional photographer in the Lakeland area Sheriff Grady Judd, who has taken up photography, he, as he shares with us, that's the way he deals with his stress. And then it <laughs> also will feature, yes indeed, I'm sure he has a little <laughs> bit, the exhibit will also feature Jeff Spence and Lynette Spence, who um, are husband and wife and have traveled the world seeking beautiful and wonderful places just for the purpose of um, enjoying their photography. So that four o'clock on June the 2nd, hope everybody will come out and, at, and celebrate with us and visit with these photographers as we open this exhibit. And it'll be on display until um, late October, I think. And they have some amazing pictures. It's funny because I've seen some of the pictures from Jeff's travels and, you know, none of them are prettier than the ones we have right here in Polk County. You know, Lynette took this amazing picture. So that's just the character in that in that owl. Um, and of course, yes, you mentioned Grady, so everybody can have a chance to, you know, hear about his photography. That's right. So it's our be... sheriff, Grady <laughs> Judd, and our director, Jeff Spence. <laughs> And also coming up in June is a collaboration with with the Polk County Courts, the Historical Society for them, that just is recently established. Very special occasion. On June 8th at 11.30, join us for a special feature Lunch and Learn as we have an opportunity to commemorate and celebrate the retirement of Judge Dale Durrance. Judge Durrance is a, has a long, long term. He was seated for a very long time on the 10th Judicial Circuit. And he is going to be um, at the History Center with other speakers. And they will, it'll be a panel discussion to, to just talk about, well, I think one of the things that I heard somebody say is stories we've probably never heard about his wonderful, esteemed career as serving a judge on the 10th Judicial Circuit. And it is indeed a collaboration between the Polk County History Center and the 10th Judicial Circuit Historical Society to have an opportunity to commemorate and celebrate his life and his wonderful career as a judge. And of course, PGTV will be on site to film this, so in case people can't make it, We'll have that on film to view later. I know they're really hoping to have a great turnout and to be able to honor him and and everybody's lucky because they get two chances of having lunch at the History Center this month. That's right. We do want to make sure that people understand that there are two this month, not just one, um, and they can bring their lunch to both. Exactly. We exactly. hope they do. All right, so before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about the Curators of Curiosity program that Jamie has arranged for this month. Jamie has designed a program this month to help our young learners learn the importance of signs and symbols. So they will be um, exploring the courthouse and, and identifying things that are representative of um, important elements of the county. So, you know, symbols and signs and images and flowers and birds, 
all are important in helping to, well, just celebrate and commemorate what's important in our local area. So I have a feeling that they will find things like, oh, I imagine a cow and maybe architecture, and they're going to learn about the importance of buildings and signs and symbols. Another part of important part of June is Father's Day of course and you guys have a little bit of you know, some special activities set up for that. Why don't you tell us about that? <laughs> we do. You know the, the June is a special time for us because we're going to open the expanded baseball exhibit at the History Center and this has been a wonderfully interesting project. Started really about Four years ago, one of our visitors to the museum mentioned to me, Mertis, you know, baseball history in Polk County is really important, and I remember having a long list of things to do, thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, right, right. And as we started studying it, we realized how important baseball is to our history. So we decided to curate and interpret an exhibit to talk about that exciting history. And we are going to open the exhibit on um, in June, and on Saturday, June 18th, we're going to have a special celebration. It's going to be Dad and Me Day at the History Center and the activities will be featured around the exhibit and will include activities about baseball and opportunities and of course it has to do with what is in June Father's Day. So we hope all our young learners, our little curators of curiosity, will come down and enjoy a little day of baseball history at the History Center on June 18th. Also June 18th they can also combine with that and do their architecture tour. The architectural tour, it is um, again something we're very excited about. It's an opportunity for us to take people on a tour through the building and learn the stories and the purpose of the neoclassical style of architecture specific to the, the courthouse. It's always an interesting time. So of course we already mentioned the Lunch and Learn for Dale Durrance, but the second Lunch and Learn is as usual on the third Tuesday um, as normal, but we're talking about Cypress Gardens this time? Cypress Gardens. Lou Vickers, who's an author, has written a book about Cypress Gardens and Dick Pope's contribution to the development of, well, Cypress Gardens and Polk County. So she'll be um, at the Lunch and Learn and she'll go through the wonderful story of Dick Pope and Cypress Gardens and, you know, it's really interesting. We still have very frequently we'll have visitors come and share stories about their earlier visits to Polk County and to Florida and their memories of Cypress Gardens. And you know, we have in the History Center an exhibit about, um, well, early um, tourism in Polk County. And one of those is about a site down in Fort Meade. And it is at Sand Mountain, which is no longer there. But we have some photos of, uh, it's an interesting thing. It's a water ski tournament, but it was staged at Sand Mountain by none other than Dick Pope. He certainly was the marketer, and so it's going to be really fun and interesting to hear Lou talk about Cypress Gardens and Dick Pope and all his wonderful shenanigans. <laughs> and of course, going along with that is the recommended book, which is the book that is written by her. Mm -hmm. So what can they expect from that? So it's Cypress Gardens, America's Tropical Wonderland, How Dick Pope Invented Florida. And that's exactly what the book is about. We hope you'll read that and just enjoy those wonderful stories of the early years and just his ideas and his visions and what brought him to Florida and how he developed Cypress Gardens and turned it into quite a magical destination. That's awesome. And the Lunch and Learn, I forgot to mention, is on June 21st. This June 21st, this. that's correct. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I know you guys are having a busy time, but some of our historical partners around the area are also having a busy time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's happening in Lake Wales? We are really excited to talk about our heritage partners this month. Lake Wales is going to have a wonderful celebration in opening the Lake Wales Depot Museum. So I am just so encouraged about the opportunities and what that museum now is, the way it's interpreted and the way that Lake Wales history is going to come to life again in that wonderful museum. So it'll be open, encourage everybody to come out and walk through the museum and go back and recall the early history and the early development of Lake Wales at the Lake Wales Depot Museum. That is, that's right off of Scenic Highway in that's Lake correct. Wales. That's correct. Um, 
and their hours are very are basically mirror yours. They're Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 a.m., and they're free, just like you. That's correct. Excellent, and they have new exhibits. I know this is something that people have looked forward to the reopening of, and um, so they people need to go and check it out and support yeah. our heritage partners. That's right, go celebrate Lake Wales. Awesome, and then also we have, you know, we recently had Davenport Citrus Label, and that's continuing to grow and build. Why don't you tell us about the newest addition to the Citrus Label? Well, we love the Citrus Label Crate Tour because it's a nice enhancement to the Polk County Heritage Tour. And the Citrus Crate Labels, the idea behind that is to celebrate this rich and deep culture and history of the citrus industry in Polk County. So these beautiful, iconic, artistic citrus crate labels will be popping up around the county as outdoor exhibits. So um, Haines City is the next online and the Hilltop label will be dedicated in the railroad deep, the historic railroad depot area in the historic district of Haines City. And the nice, beautiful, wonderful commemoration of Haines City Citrus Growers Hilltop label will join the citrus cr crate label tour. So if they're interested in attending that unveiling, that's going to be Thursday, June 9th at 6. At 6 o'clock, that's and correct. That's at Railroad Park in, on North 6th Street. Yes. So that's, that's always exciting. It's continuing to grow. You're really having a lot of interest. We are, and we have, I won't announce them yet, but by the time we come and have a, a program for the visitors for July, we have several more that we'll be announcing. And we're just really excited about this. We're excited that people appreciate this part of our history and um, that we're going to have these outdoor exhibits for people to find. A little scavenger hunt out there in wonderful heritage Polk County. It really is. And, and the History Center is continuing to grow and evolve. And, and I know that right now they have the Jewish exhibit and, and several other exhibits that are going to start phasing out. So people need to get down there mm -hmm. and check it out before, before everything changes. That's right. It does change. That's the way we keep it interesting. There are lots of stories to tell, so we want to keep them, keep them all out there in front of the public. You do. And, and just as a reminder to everybody, it's a great summer destination for your kids. Mm -hmm. um, you know, stop by. They'll always have activities to do for the whole family. That's indeed true. All righty. Well, thank you for coming on today. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> Polk County has a rich history and heritage, and the Polk County History Center is continuously thinking of new ways to help Polk residents experience that history. The museum's collection includes natural and cultural objects related to Polk and the greater Central Florida area that represent our history from pre-Columbian to present-day eras. The artifacts on display at the museum represent individuals, cultural groups, and events significant to the region. Located at 100 East Main Street in Bartow, the History Center is open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information about exhibits and events, you can check them out on the web at www.polkhistorycenter.org or give them a call at 863-534-4386.